Hey party people, it's your girl Bridget Hart here on A View From The Bridge. And we all know when Bridget puts on go to bed. <laughs> we had an amazing season of Real Husbands of Hollywood last year, which means that a whole lot of shit happened. You need a reminder? Well, that's why I'm here. Let's run that back. <laughs> <clears throat> So in case you forgot, season three ends with Nick dead and Kevin kidnapped. But the top of season four, turns out it was just a big joke by Mr. Incredible himself. Nick, still very much alive, and the guys reveal the prank on the TV show, The Doctors, right after Kevin revealed that he actually donated a kidney. Oh, and Jackie eats it by mistake. Sally and Dondre Richardson joined Team RHOH this year after Sally cons Kevin, not that that's hard, into letting Dondre play at the poker table. Dwayne smuggles a Cuban baseball player into the U.S. and asks Kevin to house him since he stole dude from the cartel. Kevin ruins the potential billion dollar contract, surprise, by being greedy and loses the kid altogether who signs with Magic Johnson on his own. I became an overnight sensation after my reality show. My reality show was gonna be classy, but the work was too much for me, especially when I already get a paycheck from Kevin. Don't hate cause you can't. Nelly got a boxer brief deal that brought his jock a whole lot of attention. Hey, hey Nelly. Hey. Nick and Kevin compete for a Hollywood star. Wayne Brady convinces Dwayne and Faison to get some work done, and they end up looking like Will Smith's allergic reaction face and hitch. Mm. Kevin almost gets to play the superhero Black Cloud, but is cock blocked by his old assistant, Oliver. Payback's a bitch. Kevin finally has his crazy WTF spin out moment that all comedians have. See Martin Lawrence and Dave Chappelle for reference. And it's all thanks to the drugs Kevin takes unknowingly from Bobby Schmurda, who's still in jail, BT dubs. So Trina and the guys have an intervention and send Kevin to rehab. He's there briefly with Bobby Schmurda, who escapes, Nia Long, the sex addict, and Chris Brown, their counselor. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> no, not you, Chris. Never that. Nelly signs a white country rapper who uses the N-word, even though he's not an N, but turns out to be an N, and then turns out to be adopted. So he's really not an N after all. I think that whole script was just N-ish. The guys get stuck in coach on a plane ride to I'm not sure where, while Kevin gets detained by the air marshal in first class after reconnecting with Regina Hall and sexing that freak Nadine in the bathroom. Kevin's thespian quest to star as Sammy Davis Jr. in an upcoming biopic is bogarted by Wayne Brady. But they both get played by Arsenio Hall, who ends up making sure that Tommy Davidson Jr., the best candidate anyway, <laughs> gets the role. The candy man, the boy, boy, boy. And Trina's crazy sister shows up, stirring up drama amongst the guys, thanks to Kevin's gullible ass. She wasn't tropical though, so. We had some of the hottest stars in the business on the show last season. I already reminded you about Arsenio, uh -huh. Chris, Cocaine, Nia, Nasty, and Bob. <laughs> but we also had Paula Abdul, Craig Robinson, so Nene Leakes, I feel like she could be my aunt, and Russell Simmons. Just to name a few. And this season will be even bigger. I'm not saying who, okay? So don't ask. You just better be watching. So don't forget to tune into the premiere of season five. Yep, we did that. And catch me after on BET.com with my tea on it, right here on A View From The Bridge. <laughs> I can't wait.